Today we will be testing a forex trend following strategy. Who am I? I am DP Roberts and for years I've been testing hundreds of strategies and indicators. And I'm testing more every single day. I've compiled all that information into spreadsheets and used it to create a profitable trading strategy with a custom indicator. And we have an amazing community over on Discord where we help you become a profitable trader. If you are interested in getting access to the spreadsheets of all the indicators and strategies that we have tested, as well as a free trial to our custom indicator, you can just sign up for our Patreon down below. All right, as I said, today we will be testing a Forex trend following strategy. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 322 different strategies, with 104 of them being winners. The best one so far was able to achieve an 87% win rate. That was achieved using the Academy of Forex Indicator. And so far since we've been keeping track, it has outperformed 220 of the other strategies that we have put it up against every single one so far. We've also tested a total of 1,020 indicators, with 425 of them being winners. Alright, as I said, today we will be testing a Forex trend trading strategy. And so the source video says... The best stochastic indicator on TradingView, 500% profit. And so, of course, we're going to put that to the test and see what we can get out of it. Now, in the source video, uh, they did uh, testing on a few different, um, few different assets and time frames and so on. But in the testing, they used the TradingView back testing. Uh, feature uh, use that with a, a specific indicator that allowed you uh, to kind of set the parameters to uh, use the strategy tester in TradingView and historically from my experience and other people's experiences that the TradingView back tester can be a little bit unreliable and a little bit um, problematic and so I thought it would be interesting to try to uh, test this manually to see how it can hold up um, in kind of a more real world type scenario. And so uh, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hide these indicators here. The first indicator we will add to the screen is going to be the jerk filtered case permission stochastic this one right here go ahead and click on that and add it to the screen and what we're going to do is jump into the settings and under the stochastic smoothing period right here just go ahead and change that to six and click ok the next indicator we will add to the screen is going to be a standard ema moving average exponential right here it's just the uh, trading view built in one so go ahead and click that and add it to the screen jump into the settings change the length to 200 and click ok the next indicator we will add to the screen is going to be the atr bands indicator so type in atr bands and just click this first one right here works just fine uh, add it to the screen and these are the settings that uh, it has we just leave it on the default settings so what we're looking for for a short trade is first and foremost we are looking for price to be trading below the 200 moving average the 200 ema you can see the blue moving average there anytime price is trading below that moving average we are looking for shorts that indicates uh, being below the moving average uh, that we are in a downtrend and so then what we're looking for is we are looking for an s tag a sell tag like this right here from the stochastic indicator when we get that s tag there those two are the uh, signals to enter into the trade and so what we do is set our trade right here we're going to put our stop here at the upper ATR band and we're going to put our take profit there at the lower ATR band and uh, they should be basically right at a one to one risk reward, maybe a, a tad bit more, but it ends up usually equaling about to a uh, one to one risk reward. So let's go ahead and play this forward and see how it plays out you see that we just kind of tread sideways for a moment then make this push to the downside 
getting us to our take profit. And for a long trade, what we're looking for is price to be trading above the moving average like it is here. Anytime price is trading above the moving average, we're looking for long trades. That's indicating that we are in a an up trend and so then what we look for is the stochastic indicator to give us a long signal and we get that yellow l right here it's kind of hard to see on the light background but there's a little yellow l and an arrow pointing up you can also see that the line here on the stochastic goes from red to green that's another uh indication that it is uh indicating a long trade. And so when those two line up, that's going to be our signal to enter into a long. We're going to put our trade right here. Again, we're going to put our stop here at the lower band and our take profit there at the upper band right about, uh, again, one-to-one -one risk reward, basically. And so let's go ahead and play this one forward and see how it plays out. And again, it makes a really nice climb to the upside, getting us to our take profit. All right, so that puts us at the end of the testing right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, if you are interested in a profitable trading strategy, I highly recommend you check out the best strategy that we have tested so far on the channel. has been able to maintain consistently in the mid 80% win rate. In the upper corner, you will find a link to the video where you can view the strategy. We'll also put a thumbnail up of the video on screen now, and I will also link to it at the end of this video with that same thumbnail. All right, let's go ahead and go over the numbers on the strategy. So we did the 50 trade tests like we normally do. Out of those 50 trades, we got uh, 29 winning trades and 21 losing trades, putting it at, at a 58% win rate. So with the one-to-one -one risk reward, if you're looking to gain $600 per winning trade, your total gain would have been $17,400. On the losing side, you'd have been risking $600 per losing trade. Your total drawdown would have been $12,600. But that would have left you with an overall gain of $4,800. Not a horrible strategy at all. It definitely gave you a decent little bit of profit. Compare that to the Academy of Forex Indicator. During the same period of time, we did 34 trades altogether. We had 27 winning trades and 7 losing trades, putting it at a 77% win rate. If you're looking to gain the same $600 per winning trade, your total gain would have been $16,000. $200 on the losing side, you'd have lost $8,400 for an overall gain of $7,800. So definitely better results from the Academy of Forks Indicator. But again, like I've said many times, uh, this strategy here is a trend following strategy and the Academy of Forks Indicator is a reversal strategy. And so you could definitely uh, put the two together to kind of get the best of both worlds, catch the reversals and the trend, and really maximize your profit, uh, basically meshing those two profits together. And so that really would have skyrocketed your earnings. If you're interested in the Academy of Forks Indicator, you can get a free trial when you sign up for a Patreon down below. Once the free trial is over, it's only $15 a month to maintain access to the indicator. You do have to maintain your Patreon status, but still super cheap for a profitable, efficient trading system. And recently, we have developed our own crypto scalping strategy. Uh, you can see some of the trades that I've recently taken with that strategy here. I was able to uh, gain a little bit over $3,000 now in the last uh, about three and a half weeks. So some really decent results. If you're interested in seeing that crypto scalping strategy, I did a video on it. You can click the link up in the corner right now, and it'll take you to that video. So that's it for this strategy here. We're going to go ahead and put this one on the yes list and we'll move on to the next video from here.